Hey guys, what is going on? We are back, uh, Bab Bab Babs. Got a couple of questions about this hole right here. This is hole number 13, Wolf Creek. Uh, par four, you know, pretty straightforward par four. Just trying to get on the green, make a birdie. Uh, eagles can happen, but they don't happen very often. So it's a matter of approach. So how do we want to approach this hole? Well, we got to look at this win, it's a headwind. And the headwind is in line with our picture. See, our picture right here is straight, and that's the way our headwind is. So that's basically how our headwind is, right here. And then we're gonna go over here to the flag, which is way over there. So what you can't do is you can't use whole no camera number two. And you say, why? Because the wind angle is skewed, the aim line is skewed and the picture is skewed. So the picture is not looking at the player. The picture is looking over here at this course over here. It's looking at hole number 14, basically. You know, the back of hole number 12 and the green over here, hole number 14. That's what it's looking at. So you can't use that. Hole number three is a straight line again, just like hole number one. So when we're choosing our wind angle, we gotta choose a wind angle that is the safest miss. And what I mean by that is a wind angle that will keep us on the green over here. Now, if you're on 13 greens and you land somewhere in this area, it's going to roll off. It's a simple punch back up the hill. Um, nothing crazy. But you don't want to end up above the flag and have a really brutal downhill putt. Vice versa, if you have a tailwind, unless you have your numbers dialed in, it's not a safe course to go for the flag unless you know you can clear the hill. And what I mean by that is this hill right here, okay? You need to be able to clear all of this area right here in a tailwind. Because what happens in tailwinds on drivers is you're hitting lower power, so power's down, which in turn causes apex to be down. So you're gonna have a lower ball flight. The ball isn't going to be up and over like this. The ball is going to be down, in which case it could very well hit either the hard path or the back of this hill and skirt all the way across the green and end up in the rough. And now what you have to do, you have to hit a flop out of this rough, trying to hopefully, <laughs> hopefully manage to flop this somewhere on top of the green and let it trickle down just near the hole. That way you can give yourself a birdie putt, okay? So that that's my case in, in tailwinds is, unless you just feel super, super confident, you know, it, it's probably not a good idea to go for the green unless you know you can clear all that trouble area. So what would you propose I do, Babs? Uh, go for the middle of the green right here. Right here, see? Bab says, go for the middle of the green. Look at all this real estate right here you can work with. Just end up somewhere right here and then two putt for birdie. Easy peasy. You know, why walk away with a par on an easy hole because you just tried to gamble and next thing you know, you're SOL and you had a great round going. So anyways, back to the normal hole. We are gonna go ahead and just take this for what it is. So let's say, I got a really straight headwind here. So why not we use this to our advantage? So I'm gonna take a little spin off because that's what I calculated. I'm gonna hit full power and we'll see what happens. You see, and our ball drifted to the right. And this, this is how you kind of, I'm using this so that you guys can see, you know, how we practice this. So if I look at my camera angles, see that that wind angle is still turned to the right a little. So let's go back and say, okay, well maybe that's not correct in terms of wind angle. Maybe I need to think about this in a different manner because this right here is one thing, okay? So this, and I'll take a picture. I'll hold that, that's where we're going. And that's our picture. So our wind angle is straight like this. This is our wind angle. Obviously you can see our aim line is this way. 
and that's our aim line. And so you kind of create this triangle here where you're hitting to the right, but the wind itself is blowing. You got wind and it's blowing this way across that aim line. So that's why we ended up to the right of the flag. So what you have to do is you have to turn in your mind this angle a little bit. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Basically, you're taking the flag over here and you're moving it to the left to try and get it as close to straight as possible while turning this wind angle. So in retrospect, that's basically what we're doing. We're trying to get the aim line to coincide with what this wind is doing. This wind is actually pushing into the aim line. So if we need the earlier I left it on the flag and then end up a grid and a half over here. So what in my calculation can I put to have a grid and a half in this direction on this way? And that's what we're gonna play with right there. So I got the misting. And now we're in a relatively safe position on the green right here, okay? So that's what we're looking for in general. We want to end up somewhere on the green away from trouble. And you can see right here, see if I can get off of this. Nope, see, I can't get off. So this would be a good idea of how to possibly play this There we go. So I'm gonna switch this to full. There you go. So this is where we came from, up here. And this is the wind. So you see how it's skewed? See our aim line, like so, is going to the right, but the wind is blowing in this direction, like here. So there's gonna be less wind and there's gonna be more movement. And that's kinda of, kind of where I was getting at with that. So when you're thinking about your shots, you have to mentally prepare yourself for the fact that this isn't always a straight win, even though it looks like it. Yeah, it looks like a straight win in this picture, but that's not where we're hitting. We're hitting from over here, this way, in a diagonal manner. So that's why you have to prepare and plan for the safer shot by putting yourself in the middle of the green rather than running the risk of hitting the hill, going too far this way, and next thing you know, you make a par on a very easy hole. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if y'all have any questions, and I'm here for you. Y'all have a great day.